Hello, fellow people of the earth. I am Day Fifty at Room Tune Craft Productions, bringing you a new plugin spotlight for the Dynamic Map plugin made by Mike Prim, also known as DynMap. DynMap has recently, as I made this video, up, been updated to 1.2.3, which means it works with the new map type Anvil. Um, so as long you will need to generate your maps and gen regenerate the Dynamic Maps too if you're updating, but um, it's updated at least. So what Minecraft Dynamic Map is a live map of your server as is updated. So if block blocks are updated in this map, um it's a web it's a PHP web based thing, so if blocks are placed in this map they will be updated and are shown on, on the screen. So it's um actually a part of a web browser. I'm in Google Chrome right now, looking at the Rune Tune Craft community server. And there are many plugins for it, for example the Dynamap Essentials plugin, which as the essentials like um here I have it the sets home homes that have been set, warps that have been set, um yeah, warps, and um, anything to do with essentials. There's also a lot more, and they're really cool, so I'll look at uh, hopefully all of them later. I might not get to some of them, but we'll see. So we'll start with installing them. To install them, you'll of course need a bucket server. You'll also need a uh, WinWar or 7-zip. You can get this from rawlab.com or 7-zip.org. It's just to, it's just used to extract... Um, the files in the zip archive used to installing a lot of plugins that have come with folders and configs etc so um uh, if you go to the dynmap page which there's a link in the description you can also go to plugins.bucket.org and just search dynmap and it will be one of the results um you'll see it says download the latest recommended version first of all make sure it's up to for your version it will always be at the right here right of the name of it and then you can download it um or you can also download the unstable versions if you wish too so um i'm just going to save it to my desktop for now and open it with uh winra i use 7 zip but i usually uh i just use winra for most of my things you'll see uh dynemap.jar and dynemap folder so you want to go to your um bucket server um plugins directory so I have that up right now. This is the uh, plugins directory in the bucket server. And what you want to do is just drag these two files into this directory. And uh, here they are. So um, right now we have it installed. We can run the server and it will come up. But first I'm going to go through the configuration. So if you open the Dynmap folder and then go to web, um, you will see... Actually, not web. Um, one second. All right, sorry. First we actually do have to run the server quickly. Now if you go to plugins, you open the Dynmap folder again. There's going to be a configuration.txt. You're going to want to open this with any text viewing file, um, preferably Notepad++. So there's no, um, there's no like passing errors, and it's not all like one line. So as you can see right here, I have it open in Notepad++. So um, it, I'll go over a lot of things. I'm going to go down the list of things. Um, send health. This will, if you want to show the player's health on screen. Uh, send position, um, send the player's position on screen. Allow web chat. Um, as you can see, I don't allow this on my server. It usually have, um, oops, it usually have a chat thing here so that you can actually chat with um, the people in game. I disabled it for security reasons, but that's a uh, you can do that if you want to to have anyone who just joins, um, like um, chat. And this is the interval so they don't spam your server with that web chat. Um, if you are going to allow web chat, I'd put this pretty high. And this this is to hide the web chat IP. So that when usually if you talk in web chat, it will show web user one, and then it'll show you the IP of that user. I would recommend hiding it by turning this to true. Um, it will still show it on the console, but just not for the entire server, I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, include hidden players if you have any mods that hide owners or hide people on the server um then if for some reason you want to include them in the map then you can i really would not recommend that um use player login ip um if the use player login is true setting this is will cause chat this is not much i don't know um oh 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 if a player is logged in then and if they're in the dine map then maybe i don't know um, there's some, a lot of other stuff here that's really not that important. You can read through it. It's a pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah. So anyway, that's how to configure it. So now you want to save that when you're done. And, um, it's, I know it's just a TXT file, but it's actually in YML format. And we'll update when you run the server. So if I was to uh, run the server now, I'll let it start. And, uh, 
Oh, one thing, sorry, I forgot to go over. If you go to plugins, um, dine map, configuration, something in the configuration I forgot to go over was uh, it changing the port if you need to, port forwarding reasons. Um, so if we open this, control F, one, two, two, three. As you can see, web server port, if you find this, this is 8123. Um, the bind address is like the, um, the network interface the web server will bind for. Um, for local addresses, you type 127.0.0.1. For all interfaces, you type 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. Point zero, which means everyone can view it as long as you port forward at the port 8123. And there were a lot of videos on YouTube on how to port forward, so I'm not going to go over that this video. I might actually make another video about that, but I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. You can subscribe to the channel to see if I will. Oops. That open, sorry. So, um, now, since the server's running, if you open a new tab, I'm just going to use this one, and type in localhost-8123 um, right there, um, it will load the Minecraft dynamic map uh, right here. Um, right now, as you can see, it will show all the worlds, but they're not generated. So what we're going to need to do is open the console and type in the command dynemap full render, and then whatever the world name is, Aquila City. Um, so if you, you can also do this if you log in, which I'll show you now. If you were to log into the server. Um, Oops. Um, direct connect, just type in local host 2556. I'm using 255. Wait, what was it? 56, is that it? One second. I'm using 25566 because 25565, the default port, is being used by something else on my computer right now. So if I was to log in, I'll load the awesome Aquila City uh, map that was made by um, the. Uh, the second made by Fire UK. I need to time set zero up theory fifty. So I'm just gonna I'll find where the spawn point is and start rendering from there. This isn't this is like the main spawn point, but if I was to fly around I'll found the main place. One second, I'll be right back. Right, I can't seem to find where the main spawn is, but for now we'll do slash dine map space full render, and it will full render the world we're in. So it's starting a full render on Aquila City. This is going to take a long time to render since it's such an awesome project and big project made by the Fire UK crew. Um, I'll continue trying to find the spawn while it renders the map. It continues rendering the map in uh, dine map. So yeah. Oh, it's taking a really long time to render, but as you can see, it's already extremely awesome as what as of what you can see. Um, Aquila City. It's like a you can. It will really show you an aspect of what the entire map looks like in a, a big map and dynamic map. But we're gonna go over the dynamic map. Dynamic map plugins you can put in there. Um, so the first plugin I'm gonna go over is dynamic map mob blah blah blah. Dynamic map mobs. So um, if we open this, as you can see by the picture here, it shows all the creepers, wolves, spiders, any mobs, and I believe is um, configurable. So if you would save the latest release, which seems to be taking its jolly time, um, we can add that down here, please. Open the plugins folder again. Hopefully that will download. Open it, and hopefully it will open. <laughs> um, okay, it should be opening soon, hopefully. One second. That took a while. So now if you put that jar into the um, plugins folder, that easy. Just All it takes is dragging a uh, f uh, plugin into folder. Ah, uh, frozen. Alright, now you uh, reload the server. As you can see, it's been generating the map, it's still doing that. Taking a long time. As you can see. <laughs> um, Alright, so now, if we have to go back to the map and reload it. Uh, we need to reload it whenever we install a new plugin. Um,
And my computer's frozen one second. Right, maybe we need to configure it, I'm not sure. Yeah, plugins, dynamic mobs, dynamic map mobs, config. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oops. Sorry. One second. Alright, min zoom. Let's set this to five. This is how big the icons will be. So, let's save that now. And then we have to reload. If it's zero, they won't even see it. So, let's reload the server now. It's just reloading. Stop it, map renderer, blah blah blah. It'll refresh the map, I believe. And freeze. Maybe. Could do that too. And then, uh, Google Chrome could not respond. Right. Um. Uh, come on. And as you can see, that's a little wolf there. Now, if we were to set the time to, uh, a night time. Time set. It's around 1 6. Oh, oh, oh it's night time. And some mobs spawn nearby. I'll let that. I'll let the mob spawn. I'll show you. No, actually, it shows a slime on the map. That must be a slime chunk there. So it actually shows the slime on the map over there. But it pretty much show any mobs nearby on the map. You can just trust me with that. Um, there seems to be no mob spawning, and uh, it seems there's been a little biome issue too. It's uh, it, this is turning into like a snow biome. Um, that'll happen when you're converting to Anvil. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about the lag. You're viewing my screen too. Um, let's view some other plugins now. I'm actually going to leave the game, but let's view some other plugins now, because it's lagging a bit. This is another one that shows World Guard regions on the map, and um, I'm just wanting to take a look at some other ones. I'm not actually going to install these, because all it takes is dragging a plugin into the, a large file into the plugins folder. So, that's another one. Let's also look at Townie, which displays, let's see... It displays like the towns. Um, it's like uh, a by chunks. So it'll show the towns in red outline, kind of like the World Guard one. And let's also look at factions, which is kind of putting these all together. Well, it's, I mean, like it's the same thing. Um, as you can see, it shows the fac faction, like um, war zones. Yeah, I don't know. And um, then also command book and essentials. If we look at command book. It's, uh, I believe, pretty much the same thing, and beside the uh, Google Chrome lag. It's pretty much the same thing as Essentials, um, so it shows like the homes and the warps. If we were to look at the Essentials one, it's exactly the same thing, really. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. Let's look at the Hero Chat um, now. I think there's a picture for this one, but this adds them on a module for Dynat provides an adapter for interacting here. Blah, 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 yeah. Um, there's also landmarks, but um, I recommend not using this since it hasn't been updated, so I'm not even going to look at it. Um, residents. Um, I guess it shows residents regions. I'm not sure. Anyway, so those are the plugins. You can just view the plugins by searching DynMap on the plugins list. And it's also on the DynMap uh, main page. They have all the plugins down here, too. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this DynMap um, video. is how to set up and uh, use DynMap. Now, as you can see, it shows a skeleton there now, too. Um, now, as you can see, I, I'm just going to show you the 3D view quickly of this world. Um, it's really taking its jolly time rendering. The 3D view, 3D view takes a long more t lot more time rendering. But if you were to look at the 2D view, it's almost like a satellite image. And look how much land that is of Inquilla City. Good job, uh, Fire UK. Um, but look, look at all that. That's uh, that's the Minecraft landscape you can see using Dynamic Map. And um, 
that's like the true core um, awesomeness of Minecraft. You can see all the rivers. It really does look like a real world, and that's how awesome it is. Alright, so thank you for watching, and um, 